Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle, Real Revelations Everywhere. In this one, I'm going to take some time to address one of the absolutely most imperative things to address on a daily basis. It goes hand in hand with the quality of your mindset is how well do you actually take care of yourself physically and how that couples with your mental and emotional well-being it is directly related all three are completely intertwined and absolutely affect each other directly the better that you feel physically the higher just the the base of where you start on a daily basis will be you elevate yourself before you ever get the chance to feel bad it's <laughs> you know i would just had maybe a thousand things go through your mind none better than you know an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of the cure. There's so much to prevent in every single way. And I've said it enough times where this has got to be your first video. If you haven't heard me say it already, you don't need to hold yourself back. There is no need for that. There will be plenty of things for you to run into that will do it for you do not do it to yourself and when all you do is sit around and just consume and never gain any real semblance of balance or structure any kind of physical capability it's just I couldn't imagine a bigger detriment. Like, you think that it would be just do that one thing and it's you're going to get better at that one thing no matter what it is and you forsake everything else, but that is just so, so, so ass backwards. Becoming good at a lot of different things will absolutely attribute to becoming better at the thing that you're focused on specializing in. Or just helping you find that specialization in the first place. The more different things you do and experience, the better off you are going to be, the more you are going to have to pull from in every situation that you find yourself in. All of it is experience. And learning constructively through powerful experiences. But if you're not paying attention in the middle of the experience, you're not going to get anything out of it. And there is no better way to become better at whatever you are trying to be more competitive in than being supremely physically capable. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you are training animals. I don't care if you are sewing or knitting. I don't care if you're playing video games. I don't care if you are just trying to be the best person that you can be. Being physically capable and healthy and competent is so, so, so important for your confidence for your mental, or the way that your brain interacts with everything else, your mind is connected to your brain, and your brain is connected to the world. If you are not treating your direct connection to the world the best way that you can, how can you expect to have a good connection with the world? If your antenna is a bent up piece of fucking shit, what do you expect to be able to pick up? 
what do you expect to be able to fucking figure out? What do you expect to be able to do for yourself? How do you expect to be able to receive any good information? You're not. You're not. You're not. You're not. All you're picking up is shitty lies and garbage on the ground that no one wants anymore and that you should not want. If you don't treat your physical connection to the universe in a proper manner, you will find that you will not be treated well. It is that simple. I don't know what anyone could come up with to dispute that fact. That simply is what it is. There is no, even the shittiest people on the face of the earth will find a way to be able to agree with that. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what you're doing. I don't care if you are trying to be the best meditator on the planet, literally sitting still and just not doing it. Being in bad physical shape will even prevent you from doing that. It prevents you from sleeping well. It prevents you from seeing. It prevents you from hearing well. It pre prevents you from getting places. It prevents you from doing anything constructive. It is insane to me. Like, I, I can't. And I used to. That's the thing. I used to. I used to weigh a 274 pounds. To the... Four. I remember the. I remember looking at two hundred seventy four. Before I said, "Oh my fucking god, what the fuck am I doing to myself?" No. And then guess what? I lost seventy pounds. And then guess what? I regained another sixty five pounds again because I didn't learn my fucking lesson it didn't feel enough in every way bad worse worse than that i what actually ended up really setting it all apart was it was the realization that how much my inability to support myself physically affected my confidence and my ability to be confident in myself you want to gain confidence earn it earn that confidence it doesn't come from nowhere you don't get to just pull a fucking feather out of your cap and say oh i've got it i've got it today here we go no that feather is on the ground somewhere you gotta go find it it doesn't just fucking end up in your hat doesn't pin itself in your cap. Shit, you might even have to go fucking climb a tree and take one for yourself. <laughs> no need to kill the bird, but you can get a few feathers from them if you fucking try hard enough. And that's how it starts. You gotta be fucking sick of it. <laughs> and I'm, I don't doubt that if you feel that you are as you hear these words, I don't doubt that you are, and you should be. You really fucking should be. There's so much more to do, and there's so much further to go. You have way too much to accomplish to get in your own way. There is enough challenge out there. Don't do it to yourself. Do not do it to yourself. Find a routine. Write down everything that you feel and stare at it and then think about how you are going to change it. As you think about those words, think about what is going to change. Pair those two things together. Take your anguish and forge it into something real. Think about what it is going to become in that moment don't think about what you already haven't done don't think about why you haven't already done it just think about what you are going to do and do 
That's it. You have to do it. Strike. Strike while the iron is hot. And it's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt. It's I would never tell you that it's not. It fucking better. Or you're not doing anything. It has to hurt. <laughs> it has been hurting. Use it. It has to hurt. That's how you know it's real. Do something for yourself. Do something painful and be happy about it because you know the first difference has been made. Take it, feel that pain, concentrate on it. But don't just hurt yourself just to feel something. Do something constructive with it. Feel it. Feel that hurt and say, that is good. That is good. That is what I need. Good job. Good job. Because it's just up here. That pain of going to the gym, that shit's, oh my god. Can't fucking wait now. I can't wait. And I show up, and I cannot wait to feel what it feels like afterwards. To sit down after I haven't just fucking oh To sit down once you have earned it feels so, so, so different than anything else that you're going to feel. And it's not pain <laughs> after a while. It's not the same pain that you think it is. The pain, the word pain, when you see that written out in your mind when you close your eyes, it means something different. You change the meaning of pain in your mind. You change the meaning of hunger in your mind. You change your mindset in your perspective. You change what words mean when you feel it differently. That's how you change it. You have to go feel it and then completely associate it with your goals and why it needs to happen. And that's how change occurs. You fuse your anguish with your goals and you take it and you fucking grit your teeth and you keep going. And then once you keep squeezing and you keep squeezing, you keep squeezing, you realize you have become so fucking strong that you can just take all of these rocks of ideas and you just fucking crush them when you come past them you pick them up off the ground you evaluate your their worth for yourself you do it for yourself for your own reasons and you fucking crush it in your hand and you figure out why what did it what happened what occurred when that happened why did that happen how did it happen what did i have to do if it doesn't break how do can i move it in my hand a different way how do I, where's the pressure point? How, what does this problem require to, there's an angle, there is a way around it, but you have to be able to fucking evaluate it for yourself. You build your own strength, you build your own ability to critically think, but if you are just a pile of fucking whatever bad word, that you shouldn't be calling yourself because it's not the case. It's not the truth anymore. You don't, you aren't able to accomplish anything and you have no confidence because you haven't given yourself any. If you want real confidence, no matter where you are physically, there is somewhere else to go. And if you are supremely physically fit, do obviously don't lose it. That's, easy to say but then also how does that serve everything else that you're doing are you training there intentionally enough are you training with real purpose are you training things facing the right direction are you walking the right path whatever that means to you it's all the same the way that you accomplish it you go about it the same way but your intention guides 
the direction that you move. You have to show yourself that you want and need it. And that is what allows you to shift side to side, to take a step back, to see the big picture, to expand your horizons. You gotta move. You have to move. You have to move. I am, I've said it to a bunch of people in my family, I am so grateful to be in a place in my life where I know if my body hurts, it's because I'm being fucking lazy. If my body hurts, it's because I'm fucking sitting around and I'm fucking leaning into this chair and this chair is fighting back and my muscles are like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck, man? Wait, what, what, what? What are we doing? Why are we not doing? Where are we going? Why, what? And this, com I'm compelled to move. To be outside, to enjoy, because I know how good it feels. I know how good it feels. There's no denying it anymore. Once you understand how good it feels, once you really start to address your issues, everything changes. It's obviously the most worth it thing that you could ever do for yourself is to really gain confidence in a real, physical, concrete way. Not for the sake of body dysmorphia and all of that stuff. And, oh, you fucking, look how strong I am. I'm a fucking, oh, and now everyone's gonna like me because I fucking, oh, I can really look at my shoulder. You see my, oh, like, no. Who cares? It's about what you can accomplish what you show people it's not what you I don't fucking care what you look like it is so ridiculous it's that it is it's so fucking ironic that of all of the professional like lifting sports like i can see realize it bodybuilders how ironic is it that bodybuilders of all of the lifting athletes are actually the weakest ones out of all of them. That it's all about the looks. And that's fine. You can do whatever you want. I'm not putting anyone to shame for wanting to be supremely physically. That's fine. That is your lens. That is your contact to the universe. If that's what you want it to look like, if that's how you want to feel, that is one thousand percent okay with me i have no issue with that go for it you challenge yourself in whatever way you deem fit two thumbs up if it's for the right reasons if you just have body dysmorphia and you just want people to be a fucking afraid of you or whatever in love with you or whatever you think it is and you think that your physical this is worth anything no that's it becomes more detrimental than anything. It, this, 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 and uh, beyond. It is your connection to your perspective, to your understanding of what is occurring. And if it's still just a dirty lens and you just got fucking juiced up for no fucking reason other than I just want to be big because that equals value. It's just more shit that is weighing on your mind. It's not useful. There is no confidence in that because you know it's going to go away at some point too. But when you build within your mind, that doesn't get to get taken away. You are the one decides what resides up here. When it is a worthy intention, and I mean, you're going to feel it whether or not it's worth your time, because you're still going to be fucking miserable if it isn't, and you're still lying to yourself if it isn't, and your ego is still fucking you over, 
if you don't feel better, like numbers only have so much value. If it's not guided by proper intention and understanding, you're still just wasting your time. This should give you confidence to be more. To be more of every good thing that you could think of. To be more effective. To be a better person. To be more able to help the most amount of people possible around you. If that is not your goal on a daily basis, I mean, I don't know what to tell you outside of, I do know what to tell you. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> After a while, if you don't get it, then I don't know. You're, you just haven't, eh. You haven't come across the right fucking smack upside the head, I suppose. Not enough of them, at least. If you don't feel it, if you don't feel the need for yourself, nothing is going to change. But that's just where it starts. That is simply just where it starts. Supreme physical capability is one facet of your life that has its fingers in every other facet. It is intertwined with every single thing that you do. Every successful step that you take, it will only help you to be more capable. I'm going to be talking a lot about this moving forward. I am in the middle of addressing a lot of different things that I need to focus on moving forward physically. I'm trying to narrow it down to a few different things, but I have a lot of goals for myself physically because I have a very long way to go, as do we all. That part is obvious. Who doesn't? But I got to really... uh this is a long list of things that I would like to be good at, so it's going to take me a little while. So, what I'm going to do is make another video outlining my thought process on how I am going about regimenting all of my training, outlining my intention, outlining why I want to do it, why I would like to be able to do this stuff, what it does for me and how it affects every other facet of my life and it's gonna be a long one <laughs> and i hope i make it really well because i i just i don't even know how long this has gone on for but i cannot this is just the beginning i cannot understate how it is important it is <laughs> having felt the difference myself knowing what it felt like to feel awful to feel actual real physical pain and knowing that if i push myself i'm only going to hurt myself i there isn't another level of capability there it is this is bad pain leading to injury that incapability and then taking that and realizing every all of those other things that i couldn't do emergency situations that i would have been fucking helpless in that's oh my fucking god that is so 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 unacceptable there's only so much that you can do but not putting yourself in a position to be as effective as possible at any given moment it is simply unacceptable it really is you have to be prepared and if you're not you have to do what you have to do to get prepared because shit it's all coming life is fucking right around the corner man if not if it hasn't already shown up shit's going down
for one reason or another, whatever your definition of shit is, it's going down, it's flying up, back and forth, to and fro, it's going every fucking direction that you can fucking imagine. <laughs> I really don't think that I need to tell you that. Sure, you were very aware of that, but needs to be said, obviously. Somehow we all uh, seem to forget about it time and again. As absurd as that seems. You just have to take care of yourself. You really do. It's There's so much more to do. Like you, <laughs> There's so much more fun to be had in general. Even if you're just sitting there playing video games, you think that having better musculature, better circulation, being more alert, being more aware, being more cognitively able, everything, it affects everything. It affects the functionality of your brain and how fast your body reacts and moves your ability to respond quickly. It is imperative. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sure this video is long enough. If you're looking for more, if you've made it this far, stick around, please. If you appreciate what I have to say, you know where all of that stuff is to uh, maintain contact. Do your thing if you appreciate it. I would love to hear about it. If you have questions, please, please, please ask away. I would love to just have a continuous conversation going. For whoever wants to be a part of it, there's a lot to talk about, obviously, and you're, you might get the opportunity to hear me talk a whole fucking lot. And come to find, I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> Man, I can just talk and talk and talk and talk. But I'm uh, looking to narrow it down to important things and uh, making sure that each word carries the utmost importance and effectiveness. Choose my words very carefully. I appreciate you uh, being around to uh, hopefully gain and grow and learn. Just gotta just keep going. That's all it is. Just keep going. You only lose when you quit. You only fail when you stop. Anything beyond that. Do your thing, you know, just keep doing your thing, keep chasing your dreams. Remember, be safe, stay dangerous. When you can, you got to take it easy. Got to find that balance. Just as much of all of this pushing yourself and challenging yourself and finding new ways to grow. Just as much of growth is rest and recovery. Be good to yourself. No reason not to. Don't lie to yourself. You have the ability to do whatever you want to do. It's in there. You'll believe in yourself as much as I believe in you one day. Once you build that confidence up, you'll feel it. And it'll all be worth it. And then uh, you'll be able to share that with someone else.